Welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2025 here in Barcelona, the world-renowned annual tech show for the systems integration and audio-visual industry. Well, Black Box, they're no strangers to the ISE. And John, you're back here in Barcelona this time. Excited to be here? Yes, it's great to be back here. Uh, great for the weather as well. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's actually been a good show, very kind of busy so far today. I mean, it's only the first day. Um, we've been very much focused on showing off our control room solutions. Uh, right now, we're kind of, I suppose, demonstrating our DeskView product line where we're able to kind of have, it's a combination of a KVM receiver, a multi-viewer and thin client all in the one box. So we're able to drive multiple screens, uh, have up to 16 sources spread across those screens. Um, and then users can actually flexibly decide the workflow they want, the layout they want on the, on the actual across the multiple screens, and how, how they want to orchestrate their workflow in terms of changing uh, what they're looking at. So that's a lot of what we're highlighting here. We're very much aimed at you know, the broadcast industry, say production studios, outside broadcast trucks. Uh, it could be in transportation, like rail control rooms, healthcare, we do a lot of business in healthcare. Um, so we kind of find that um, the overall benefits of our Emerald system is focused on the inter seamless integration of physical machines and virtual machines. Oh, tell us and more about the Emerald system. So, so, what, so what the Emerald system is, is at the heart of our KVM system of which DeskView is a component. And it allows us then to take multiple sources, whether they're from a physical machine with a transmitter on them, uh, whether it's HD, 4K type of signal, uh, to a virtual machine, uh, be that RDP or PC over IP, which is very popular in broadcast industry. Um, and take that into a, you know, basically takes it into a box, compresses it, encrypts it, sends it over a network or a quality of service, comes back to a small box where the user is, and allows them to kind of distribute that, you know, reverse it, so that people have the remote experience as if the computers or series of computers are under their desk, but essentially they can, you know, potentially talk to a thousand computers that are in the same building, across the city, or even across continents. We have people who are kind of leveraging the Emerald system to create a flexible way of how they want to build their work environment. So you've obviously talked uh, heavily there about the broadcast industry, but you also mentioned healthcare. So how's that working in a healthcare setting? So we do a lot of, uh, in say patient healthcare. So we often take our devices, they hook them up to patient's monitoring equipment, and then take them, distribute them out to multiple nurses stations. So you don't necessarily need to be physically in the room with the patient if an alarm goes off. Uh, you can actually monitor that from multiple nurses stations simultaneously. So that's a lot of what our system allows you to do in a very simple way, or you could be sharing an MRI machine, an X-ray machine across a hospital, or even to outside consultants who basically don't need to be physical on site to observe something. And are there other markets that you're currently looking at, and how could a control room help there? Well, control rooms are everywhere. Everything is being digitized, the world is getting digitized, so whether when you have digitization, there is a control room, whether it's called control room or not, there's essentially somebody is an operator controlling what's going on, whether it's a data center, often called a net a NOC or an operating center, uh, to kind of in the rail and uh, air traffic control and airports, you have definitive control rooms. Uh, if you go into broadcast, you, you're running a studio, it could be an editing suite, it could be running the actual broadcast studio, it could be the outside broadcast truck, where again, it's just like a mini control room. Um, so it, it spans lots of different verticals. What about the current trends that you're seeing at the minute, and where are you heading with those trends into the future? Well, very much you see the trends are, people are migrating to virtual machines. Um, so from physical machines to virtual machines, that's a journey that we've seen for the last three or four years, and it's going to take another four or five to get there. But instead of being dedicated hardware, you have a virtual machine. And then we see where, Essentially, you have operators across all the verticals, they want operators to do almost more with less. In other words, they, I think someone described one time to me as greater span of control, which means the operator has more responsibility, so you need to make things more intuitive. It needs to be, you know, as much as possible, the system is prompting the user of where to look, where to put their attention on. Uh, potentially alarming, creating alarms to show where there's a potential error to be looked at. It can be just helping them if I've got multiple screens in front of me, where's my keyboard and mouse on that screen? How do I find it easy? How do, and also then, the other big trend is 
orchestration of how do you orchestrate not just the KVM, which is often the operating desk and the video wall, but how do you orchestrate with the other components in the control room, which may be an instrument, manage, instrument management system, it may be an intercom, so how does all that get orchestrated in a seamless way for the operator? So the operator just says, I almost like I push a button on a touch panel and a lot of things happen that behind the scenes that I don't need to drive, the system is doing it for me. And you don't need to have that real technical expertise either as a user? Yes, that's really what we're striving for, is to make it intuitive. So the user is focused on their job, whether they're controlling where ambulances are going, whether they're controlling how to produce a show, they're focused on that rather than how do I go find, what source of video do I look at, how do I bring it up, how do I interact with it. We want to make that intuitive and ultimately make our technology melt into the background so it's seamless. It looks absolutely fabulous and I wish you every success for Barcelona in 2025. All right, thank you very much. Thanks, John.